become unconscious about his hero, uh, thinking that he wasn't going to go for a surround, and he switched up and uh, surrounded him. So, uh, good move on Zuby's point of view, and or point, or player, I don't know. Zuby's play, good job. So, uh, right now, uh, it's looking pretty even. Uh, Vajark has 3-2, and I think Zuby's going to get 3-3 three, three off this camp. I'm not sure. I think he's going to have to creep that gold mine on the left to get 3-3. Three, three. Um, another thing, uh, a couple things in Tier 3 with Undead. Uh, when you're fighting human, never get a Crypt Lord as soon as you hit Tier 3 unless you have 3-3 three, three heroes. If you get a Crypt Lord before your Death Knight's 3 and your Lich 3, you're going to like run around with like 2-2-2 two, two, two heroes. That's going to be horrible because if the opponent has 3-3 three, three heroes or something of that nature, that's kind of... Uh, bad because you're not going to have those critical levels your opponent is. So just wait for, until 3-3 three, three before getting uh, the Crypt Lord. So um, Zuby knows he's going to creep this mine over here could get level 3 on his lich, so he's going to start his Crypt Lord in advance. Another thing about Fiends. Fiends uh, basically are there to counter air. Uh, when I do an Orc audio or Undead vs. Orc, which I plan to, uh, you'll see how um, Ghouls and Fiends work together. You don't really need all Fiends. You don't really need something of that nature, you just need you just need fiends and ghouls, a good good mix is uh, perfect on defeating air and when the le rest is made to in rem when the rest is left to the heroes they can uh, really do a lot of damage, I've taken down so many wyverns with just level 2 nova, level level 2 carrion with a couple orbs on my heroes, I mean that's all you really need for anti-air is a couple fiends and the rest ghouls because if you think about it, ghouls are your damage output Fiends are your um, way of uh, bringing them to the ground. Uh, fiends don't have a great damage output. I mean, it's pretty good, but nothing compared to Ghouls with Ghoul Frenzy. So right now, he's just creeping, getting the highest uh, he can. He's trying to get that level 4 Death Knight for that extra speed. Uh, speed is great with Ghouls, because that's what really what you need to do. You need to slow him, stun him, and then try to get us around an army. And I'll show you what that means in a little bit. So right now he's getting about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fiends. 6 fiends is a pretty good number. And uh, from now on, he's really just going to be switching back, to, uh, switching to fiends. It's kind of, I don't know, I, when I watched this replay, th first of all, uh, I kind of thought of it like this. Uh, you know, Philbot Strat, he goes fiends off the bat versus basically every every matchup. And he just he creeps to big, big heroes. And uh, since it's getting late game, I mean, 14 minutes, it's not really late game, it's probably mid game. Uh, good game lasts like 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. If you switch in, if you switch to fiends later game, later and later it gets, the more advantage you're going to get with your heroes. The higher level your heroes get, the more nuking you have. And when you nuke, it's kind of hard to get, uh, kind of hard to focus with ghouls because they're melee units. It's easy to focus with range. That's why nub elf works. So, um,. Basically, he's going to be switching to fiends, so he's going to have he's going to have an easier time of focusing heroes, and uh, also uh, prepares them if there's air. And he saw a gyro before, but uh, I don't know anybody who really masses gyros. So, anyways, we have Zubi with uh, 78 food army, just below high upkeep, and Bajark with a 72 army, but with two expos. So we're going to see how this uh, turns out. Right now, Zuby's just kind of walking back and forth, trying to find where he's uh, creeping. And Zuby thinks uh, he can creep one of these big-ass red camps, and that is what he's going to do. I mean, if you look at these maps, these red camps are terribly hard. With a 78-foot army, you can creep, like, anything on any map. Uh, so that's exactly what he's going to do. Plus, these drops for these dragons are insane. I mean, if you get a orb of frost, and that's what he's going to do, it can do some high damage. Or not high damage, but that's basically a Naga. It's pretty insane. So uh, he's going to come in here. He's going to let his Lich tank because you can coil that. You obviously want to do that. And he's going to focus his Red Drake first, make sure he gets the item. And uh, Red Drake's also Devour, so uh, watch out for that. Or Red Dragon, sorry. And uh, so he creeps us out with ease. And if you look behind, Bajark's coming for the Jack because he noticed he had Fiends, he had... It ghouls, so he, he thinks he'd be creeping something high like this, and he is definitely correct. He also sees him with Skyro. And uh, Zuby gets an Orb of Light, or Orb of Frost. It, it, like he says, his Lich is lethal. And right now, he's going to be going for uh, whatever he can. He's got his opponent in a very bad position. And with Impale and Wanda, Wanda uh, the Whirlwind stuff, Exact Cyclone, 
uh, Impale Nova. He's going to keep that his opponent in that bad position. That's exactly what he's doing. Uh, if Bajark turned to run here right now, which he is, he's going to lose his whole army. Watch this. Between um, Impale, you never use Impale after Nova, which that, because you want it the longest from the Impale and longest from the slow. So as soon as the Impale's up, go ahead, Nova. And he's basically just losing his whole army to the mass slow and the mass stun. Right now, his heroes are nowhere near uh, Mr. Zubies, and that's going to fork Bajark's TP, which he should have did a long time ago. So right now, Bajark has two Expos to bounce him back, uh, versus Zubies one, almost two Expos. He, just, he doesn't have the second one up yet, but he's getting there. So right now, it's kind of looking bad for Bajark, uh, basically, because that last battle, what Zubie wanted to do, and he did perfectly, is fight a choke that for his ghouls can tank, and he couldn't get to his teams. Um, good, good job there. And he also allowed his heroes to keep his opponent in that horrible position. He um, uh, he didn't use a TP right away, which I do not understand. Probably a big mistake for him, which is, uh, is a big mistake for him. So uh, basically, what Zuby's army did, or what Zuby's heroes did, was kept Bajark in a horrible position. And he, they did that successfully. Between Nova and Impale, you can keep an army within slow or slowed and uh, slowed and stunned through most of uh, the battle and with statues behind you uh, that's exactly what you did so right now Bajark's uh, Archmage is kind of stuck I thought it was pretty lol uh, right, I don't know why uh, Zuby did not get dust he saw his Archmage go invisible but it doesn't really matter he's got the really secure hero advantage he's got 5 death knight which is you're so strong as human. Five Death Knight against any race is just so strong. It coils so much damage and it's only 75 mana. So right now he's just taking down his expo and Bajark, uh, he, he, he's got a lot of gold I think, does he? Yeah, he's got a secure amount of gold, 600. And uh, he's got an expo. So right now he's kind of building an air army. The air army is to counter Really, nothing anymore. Bajark's thinking of a uh, not even close to good counter. Um, if you're going human and you see this, you see ghouls, ghouls, uh, fiends, destroyers. Uh, I don't know really what to tell you because I don't play human. But, I th but Bajark, a couple things Bajark did right this game. He got a Paladin third. Paladin third is great versus undead. Uh, it's, it can serve as a little extra damage if a hero is just about to get away. You can save your heroes a lot. It's basically the death knight for human against undead. So right now, Bajark does the extremely go through thing, and it's really a uh, really smart thing he did right here. Is he's sending militia to his expo because that is more protected, and he needs more time to build his army. So he sends his, uh, a militia to the expo to lure him there. Very very smart move. What the hell, a cannon tower? I haven't seen those such rock. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, so uh, Zuby's uh, just focusing down, uh, focusing down on the towers and just killing whatever peon he can. Jark, it's looking really grim. He's got Griffins. Griffins don't counter mass fiends. I'm sorry. Uh, if you have mass Griffins versus mass fiends, yeah, it's gonna counter. But three or four fiends and some gyros aren't gonna counter nothing. So right now, Bajark, it's basically over. I mean, he's got the hero level disadvantage, the demon disadvantage, the economic disadvantage, and there's no really reason, or no really way Bajark is going to win this, but he's staying because it's a WC3L match. And if Zuby disconnects, it's, uh, it's pretty LOL. So, uh, right now he's just uh, killing his heroes, get rid of his argument, he's got rid of his paladin, um... Zuby's left with no gold mine and uh, some production buildings. Basically, this is over. Uh, I was going to exit out of the replay right now. Um, anyways, basically, what I want you, you guys to get from this audio is a couple things. One, uh, when to get your Crypt Lord, because I see a lot of people get their Crypt Lord like, as soon as they're like Death Knights 3 and a Lich is maybe 1 or 2. That's not really what you, what you want to do. You want to get your uh, Crypt Lord when you have 3 3 heroes. Therefore, it can be the most effective. Uh, another thing is with the slow stun thing. That's a very, very lethal weapon against human because the most, for most part, human always goes ground unit. I mean, they might get some griffins as support, 
maybe some D-Hogs, but not really. So, um, keeping that their human opponent, that Nova and that, that Impale, is really just going to have them hinder and, hindered, and with your bonus to speed from your DK and your, your ghouls or whatever you have, you'll be able to get uh, better positioning and keep them in worse positioning like uh, Zuby did in this game. Um, I don't know if there's anything else really to talk about. Uh, probably I'll go through probably every rap match with Undead because that's I don't know, that's basically what I did with Orc. I went through uh, every match. Maybe when I'm done with the dead, I'll move back to Orc or do some other kind of audios. For the most part, I'm going to be uh, uh, doing uh, a dead verse every race, and uh, once that's done, we'll see what, how that goes. Uh, I think that's all for this audio. Uh, go ahead and leave comments in the comment section. I appreciate those. Read all of those. And I think that'll be it. Uh, see you guys later.